Emissions have gone down in California and a lot of people are surprised. They're thinking, how the hell is this happening? Because industry is still big. People are still burning a lot of fossil fuels. But in California, one thing has driven down emissions. And I'm talking the emissions that cause cancer, the emissions that will seriously wreck you. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching The Electric Viking. Now, fortunately, very fortunately, this video is certainly not a clickbait video of any kind. This is true. And a new study from the University of California, Berkeley, has shown an, a significant reduction in the decline in carbon emissions with increased electric vehicle adoption over the last few years, driving emissions down. Now, these are the kind of emissions that exist in your street, in your workplace. Now, not emissions from a, a power plant that's maybe 50 kilometers away from you, not so bad, but maybe 50 miles, 100 miles, I don't know. The point is, emissions from vehicles are causing you more harm than any other kind of emissions because they're literally in the air you breathe. Uh, they're being carried around you on a regular basis. I mean, think about when you sit in a cafe, right? Outdoors, what happens? You're sitting there breathing in the emissions. Generally, you wouldn't breathe in the emissions from um, you know, other polluting sources like power plants. You would breathe them in from cars and trucks. This research looks at carbon emissions trends between 2018 and 2022. It doesn't show 2023 where the emissions would be even better. But it utilizes data from 50 air quality sensors throughout the Bay Area. As a detailed report published in the Environmental Science and Technology Journal. The data shows a decline in carbon dioxide emissions representing a 2% yearly decrease on average. So they're going down 2% on average. Of course, EVs hit a record number in 2023. So that decrease could have been higher last year. We don't yet know, but very likely it was because the more EVs we add, it becomes like an exponential virtuous growth cycle. I think it's amazing. And this is meaning, you know, that more and more people are buying EVs in California and emissions are, are further coming down. Now, according to the study's lead researcher and professor executive associate dean at Berkeley's College of Computing, Data Science and Society, um, he says that if we do it for 20 years, it's going to be a huge decrease, as in there'll be a massive improvement in health outcomes as a result of this huge decline in emissions. Researchers reported the highest levels of carbon dioxide near highway corridors, and while 1.9% in 2022 may not seem like a huge amount, Cohen says that a 3.5% annual reduction would be enough to reach California's 2045 carbon neutrality target. Now, it's likely we actually hit a 3.5% annual reduction in 2023. Can't say for certain, but very likely. So, yeah, California is actually on the way to hitting that target, which is amazing. I mean, Realistically, carbon neutrality 2045 in California does seem a bit unrealistic, but the data is saying it's possible. Along with using sensors to gather data, the study examined registration data from the California Department of Motor Vehicles to monitor the ratio of EVs on the road to gas cars. The researchers found the data to remain true even when considering other potential factors, including the reduction of motor vehicle traffic during the early days of the COVID-19 pandemic and other seasonal influences. The researchers concluded that the decrease in emissions is due to the increase in electric vehicle sales in California. The author of the study says that the majority of carbon dioxide emissions come from the transportation sector, as well as winter time heating and heavy industries such as oil refineries. But because oil refineries are generally not located close to population centers, the majority of the CO2 emissions that you're breathing in personally, yeah, they're coming from vehicles. Part of the goal of the study was to determine if the data shows that clean transportation policies actually make a difference so people could put energy into climate policies that really work. While the sensors also monitored other pollutants, including particulates and nitrogen oxide, Cohen says this particular study was focusing on measuring carbon dioxide emissions. Now, fortunately, the truth is, though, that particulates and nitrogen oxides have gone down as well. According to Cohen, the findings represent a more powerful connection between the adoption of EVs and reduced emissions than he initially thought that it would. This is a huge win, he said. EV sales in the US hit 1.1 million in 2023, according to Coxwell Automotive data, 
And Tesserati says that with California, Washington, New Jersey, Connecticut, and Texas making up the top five adopters, globally, the International Energy Agency expects EV adoption to increase tenfold by 2030. This should significantly improve um, the what, what we've seen, which has been just a global catastrophe in, t- in terms of cancer rates increasing exponentially. That's one of the key drivers here. The, the air we breathe in, we can't control this really, can we? We can control it by our decisions, by buying vehicles that aren't going to poison us. But ultimately, we can't control necessarily what other people do. And that means that a lot of health outcomes are being affected by other people, not by you. I mean, you can try and move house, move to the country or something, move to another area. That's not always possible for everyone to do. But in California, because so many people are adopting EVs, it's sort of like a helping everyone type scenario. Now, the great thing is electric trucks are coming as well. Now, trucks do represent a huge percentage of emissions, but not only just emissions, but of bad emissions. We're talking, you know, the particulates that come from diesel trucks are shocking. But fortunately, that sector is on the way to being electrified as well. Thank you for watching, guys. Let me know your thoughts on this. Bye-bye.